Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dulakya, is going to explain you examples based on multiplexer and specifically I have selected questions from GATE and ISRO examination in this session. Right. So to understand this session based on examples of multiplexer, let me give you first question. So my question is. So you see over here in this question, we have 8 cross 1 multiplexer and our function that is of A, B, C, D, 4 variable and we are deal with to express that in terms of main term or max term, right. So here our agenda is to identify first what is our function F. So when you have any multiplexer, first we need to identify what are the inputs which is there with this. 8 cross 1 multiplexer. So here you see this is ground terminal. So right. So that is what connected with 7. So this is 0. This is 0. This is 0. This is 0 as well as this is 0. Now you see this D that is connected over here. So we can say this is D. And this is what inverter over here. So this is D bar. Now here we have 1 over here. Right, so I can say 1 that is there at terminal 4. So once we identify the inputs, we can directly go for selection line understanding with respect to function f. So here we can say function f that is what based on selection line abc. So if abc is 0, 0, 0 means a bar, b bar, c bar, it will select first line that is 0, so dot 0. Plus, when ABC is 0, 0, 001 means A bar, B bar, C, it will select first line that is D, so dot D. Plus, when ABC is 0, 1, 0 means A bar, B, C bar, it will select this line that is dot 0. Now, when ABC is 0, 1, 1 means a bar b c it will select line 3 which is 0 so dot 0 plus when a b c is 1 0 0 means a b bar c bar it will select line 4 so that is 1 so dot 1 plus when a b c is 1 0 1 means a b bar c it selects line 5 that is d bar so dot d bar plus when a b c is 1 1 0 means a b c bar it will select sixth line that is 0 when this is 1 1 1 a b c dot this line that is 0 now here in this you see this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 so we don't need to see that even now here you see this is what a bar b c d plus you see this is a b bar c bar plus this is a b bar c d bar right so now we need to identify what are the terms which is possible here with this expression so see a bar b bar c d means 0 0 1 1 so which term is this this is term 3. Now you see here a b bar c bar. So a means 1, b bar means 0, c bar means 0. And d is not given means there is one possibility of 0 and there is one possibility of 1. So these are 8 and 9 term. Now if you see this, so that is a b bar c d bar. So 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is term 10. So in terms of mean term, it is 3, 8, 9, 10. So we need to see, is it there? Yes, it is there with option A. So our answer with option A is correct. Right. Now let me give you second question. 
So here second question is quite interesting. Here in second question we are dealing with to identify which are the statements which is correct one. So we have given with the statements and we are dealing with to identify which are correct statements, right? So you see a multiplexer with statement A selects one of many inputs and transmits on single output. So if you observe multiplexer over here, you see, so there are many inputs and it transmits that to one single output. So we can say this statement is correct. So it selects many of its input and transmit on one output. So this is correct statement. Now you see a multiplexer routes the data from single input to many outputs. So one should know, see multiplexer has only one output. It does not transmit data to many outputs. So this statement is false. See multiplexer converts parallel data into serial data. Yes, it converts parallel data into serial data. You see there are parallel inputs and there is only one output. So we can say it converts this parallel data into serial data. So we can say this statement is correct. It converts parallel data into serial data. Now see statement D, a multiplexer is a combinational circuit. Yes, multiplexer is a part of combinational circuit, right? So multiplexer is a combinational circuit. So we can say statement A, C and D that is correct, right? Now, I'll give you one more question. So that is quite interesting. And after solving this question, probably one can be able to solve any question based on multiplexer. So my question is, So now you see here we have given with multiplexer circuit and these two multiplexers are two cross one multiplexer. And here we have been given with G that is AC plus BC bar. Then we need to find output F. Now you see this is what internal terminal of multiplexer A, B. These are my inputs. C is my selection line and G is output. So whenever this type of function that is given, we need to understand why it is given. It is given to make sure what is the order which is there with A and B. Like see, there can be two possibility. A can be zeroth terminal and B can be oneth terminal or one can say A is first input and B is zeroth input, right? So there are two possibilities. So which possibility is correct that we need to identify by this equation. So let us try to understand this. Like see if I say this is zeroth terminal and this is first terminal, right? So in this situation, my G that will be, see this is what C. If it is zero, then it is C bar. In that case, this line will get selected. That is A plus if C is one, then C dot this line will get selected that is b now you see is it the same equation you see ac plus bc bar so this is not that equation means this assumption is false so sometimes in hurry you will be solving example as per this is zero and this is first terminal and then you solve it and you make a mistake there so now you see if i consider over here as this is one and this is my zero terminal in that case what will happen you see in that case my g is when c is zero c bar it will select this line which is b plus when c is one it is c it will select this line this is a now you see this equation is correct ac plus bc bar right so this is my correct order so now i need to say this is my correct order. So this is first terminal. This is zero terminal that one need to understand, right? And this is what name of terminal, right? Now, 
let us identify what is my output over here right so let us say my output here that is f1 right so what will be f1 so f1 will be you see my input is practically x so when x is 0 we can say it is x bar it will select this line that is e plus when x is, is 1 so it is x and it will select this line which is ground means it is 0 so we can say my output function f1 that is x bar e right now you see this x that is another input over here and based on this we can identify my output f so that is when this y that is 0 we can say it is y bar at the time which line will get selected this one that is x so we can say this is x plus when this terminal selection terminal that is 1 we can say that is y at the time this line will get selected that is f1 now what is f1 f1 is x bar e so y x bar e so this is my output now we need to see is it there in this function of output a b c so x y bar plus y x bar e see this is there so we can say my option c that is correct one so this type of tricky questions that will come in competitive examination so at the time you should be ready with your understanding and then you solve it with bit precision then definitely you will be gaining correct answer i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions